uh, Shalom to the elect of Israel. The Twelve tribes of Israel being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, according to Bible prophecy. Right, uh, uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth, and salutes to you, Archim, that are teaching this word to the elect in truth and sincerity. Right, it's Isaiah from GMS London, UK, coming with another video. Right, and this one I'm going to be calling this video, "This man is a problem." All right, or this devil is a problem. All right, and this man, referring to Esau, the so-called white man. Right, who's those whose fathers go back to the man Esau in the Bible, right? Through their father's lineage, they are the Edomites. Okay, the devil that the Bible speaks of, they are the wicked in this earth, right? And they're the ones that are wreaking havoc, causing destruction and mayhem in the earth, man. All right, the perfect devil that the Lord is going to have destroyed, all right. There is no peace in the earth because of this man, right? The reason you have all these, uh, all that pollution in the beautiful oceans, right? All the plastics, you got the, uh, you know, Coca-Cola cans, uh, pack, you know, rings around the necks of fishes and turtles, right? You got the reason you got all these whales and, and sea creatures beaching themselves because he is because of this man, this devil, right? All, all the, uh, the destruction of the earth, the uh, cutting down of the forests, the trees, which of those trees helps helps us to breathe, right? But this man is is, is just doing the most destruction, right? Polluting the the atmosphere, the air that he has to breathe himself through the chemtrails, the fluoride in the water, polluting the, the water systems. You know that we can go on and on, how much damage and destruction and how much evil that the this nation of people is doing all right and i'm so much of a devil that when i want to try and turn the tables and control the narrative saying oh mankind and people on the earth are destroying the planet no it's the, these edomites man you know it's not no uh um you know no uh elamite or, or, or they like to put, you know putting their fingers at jake a lot of times it's not because of some you know, Negro in the hood, so-called Negro, you know, who's, who's dropped his McDonald's wrapper on the floor. The earth ain't being destroyed because of him, man. It's because of you devils. All right. But just because now they, they got the suit and tie on and they want to shake your hand and they smile, showing you all their teeth. That they, you know, somehow they've changed. They're not the same devil that had you in slavery. They're not the same devil that uh, separated your families, the, the men, women and children and uh, uh, um, had their way with. Uh, the married women in, in slavery. All right? No, they're still the same wicked devil. Those whose fathers go back to Esau, right? Because this is not a carnal thing. It's a spiritual thing. Just because somebody looks so-called white, it doesn't mean that they are of Esau. But that is a... Um, that is the, 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 the image, okay? The mark that has been placed upon them, right? A great indicator. Right, like you got a lot of them. I, right? they are, you know, their fathers go back to Esau, man, and they're gonna be judged for all the wickedness that they've done. Right, this is Job nine and twenty four. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, so the rulership, who's ruling today? Who has power and influence in the world? Who has that been given over into the hands of? All right, when you through a process of elimination right one nation stands out the so-called white man right the, the suit and tie of uh, uh, rare meat uh, rare bloody steak eating red devil man right these Edomites they're the ones that are ruling the world right it says he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he so who if, if it's not you know, these Edomites, who is it that's covered the true image of the Lord? All right. Change the, the image to be in a so-called uh, pale face uh, savior, which is lies. All right. Change the, the dark images, the dark icons that were found in Europe. 
you know, and, and all over the world, different uh, relics, statues and artifacts of the people of the Lord and the saints and the Heavenly Father being a, a so-called black man, so-called dark skin images. Who, who's uh, changed that through iconoclasm? Right. That was these, these Edomites. And they're the ones that are causing all this wickedness to spread in the earth. They're deceptive. They're evil. And that's that's why you see all chaos in the earth. All right. He's the one that's going to different nations, putting sanctions on them, bullying them, oppressing them, telling them that they have to bow to his democracy, which he's a hypocrite. All right. Because he doesn't actually believe in that. He, he will go through the power of the sword. That's what he believes in. They don't want to bow down and they don't want to accept the alphabet group agenda. They don't want to uh, uh, allow all these things to happen. Or then we're going to uh, throw, um, you know, bombs. Right? We're going to drop drop them on, on hospitals and children's schools and, and blow them up. That's what they're going to do. Okay. So he is the wicked. He is the unjust ruler. All right, let's go Proverbs. All right, a quick precept. This is Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, have made all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So that's the thing, because a lot of these uh, people in, in Christianity, they're bugged out and they don't understand the scriptures, they don't understand. That the Lord has created all things. They don't understand that the Lord created all things, including Satan, including the devil himself. All right, because he works for the Heavenly Father. This is the Lord's movie, and he has the, the forces of good and he has the forces of evil. Okay, you got the forces of evil uh, of evil working through Esau, right? These Edomites, and you got the forces of good through uh, Jacob, right? The Israelites. But it shows you the day of evil. That's the purpose of, of the, this devil, man. Right? He's there for, for when these bad times come, for when these nukes drop, for when all hell breaks loose from chaos. Right? Because this man has been created to be the wicked, to be the devil that he is. He's the perfect devil. But he'll smile in your face so our people will think, oh, he's changed. After he was uh, cutting the babies out of the wombs of our uh, pregnant women in slavery, throwing our people overboard and feeding them to sharks. Right? Even committing cannibalism to uh, uh um the, the, the you know our people on the the slave ships all right just to name a few i can keep going the list of all, all the crimes of these edomites man all right but what does this scripture say this is second corinthians 2 and 11 so lucky this is second corinthians 11 and verse 14 and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. All right? And Satan means adversary. That's the power working through these Edomites. And they have their image uh, portrayed out there as them being righteous, as them being uh, holy, as them being the, the people of the Lord. That's all lies. That's all uh, smokescreen. Because really, the scriptures tell you in their hearts, man, what they were. They're wicked. All right? They only seek bloodshed, man, how to overthrow you. They want the, the, to hoard all the, the power and resources in the earth. The scripture says that he, he is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. But people are looking at him like he's a, an angel from heaven, God's gift to save everybody from living in mud huts. Where, where would you Negroes be if, if we never came and put chains on you? You'd be in mud huts swinging from tree, uh, trees with bones in your nose. That's all lies, man. All right, because we had civilizations, we had kingdoms, we had gold, we had uh, um, um, technologies, we had uh, righteous order, we had all these things. All right, there's a reason that they uh, begged us to come over and help them build up their, you know, their kingdom and their civilization. Because we had the knowledge, we had the skills, we had the wisdom. The scriptures say that Jacob is the uh, former of all things. All right, we are the inventors, we are the creators, the innovators, because we're the chosen people of the Lord. Anything that Esau has got, he has stolen from other nations. He's stolen from the Israelites. All right, the invention of the light bulb, the invention of um, um, 
uh, the you know all these um, inventions, right? The modern day uses today, right? Invention of uh, computers, the invention of even something like traffic lights. Okay, all these inventors, they're all Israelites, so-called blacks, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Esau has. That's why they call him culture vulture. All right, colonizer, because. Anything he has today that he likes to make himself so proud of, he's stolen from other people. And mostly, mainly from Israelites. And then he'll create a pattern on it and say that you're, you're the monkey and, and you're dumb and you, you don't know anything. A lot of them inventions came in slavery, man. And, and you, know, you know, this devil took the credit from the inventions of, of the... Those that was in captivity. And you know what? This man ain't changed today, man. That's the thing that our people ain't, ain't, ain't seeing, man. A lot of our people that ain't seeing, they're going to find out too late when he draws for the sword in these last days, when he's putting people in concentration camps, in martial law, in times of, 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 uh, of the hour of temptation, when he tries to implement this, this chip, right? The MOTB, the Revelation 13, 16. That's the ultimate goal because he's trying to establish this NWO in these last days, which we can see is going to fail. The Lord said it's going to fail, but it's not going to stop this devil from putting his all into putting this into place. Right. This is um, Jeremiah 13, 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Yeah, the Ethiopian, can he change his skin? The leopards, can he change his spots? No, because that's how they were created. That's how they are. It's in their nature, in their blueprint. Their makeup. That's how they are. That's the cloth that they're cut from. That's what this is letting you know. So how can these devils change? Are people? These are the same devils that will come in to your church's congregation and then they'll air out all their um, ammunition into those churches in, in a peaceful worship. All right. Now that's all judgment. But at the end of the day, the point being is that this devil he don't change, man. Okay, because it says, "Then may ye also do good." That are accustomed to do evil. So there ain't no good coming from the, these these uh you know these these Edomites, man. Right? I'm gonna close out. I got last few scriptures. Um here in Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Yeah, so yeah, you never trust him, all right? There's a reason brothers, you know, our, some of our apostles on down and Archim on down were teaching you not to get the the um, the V, all right? Not to get juiced up because this man is a devil. You, you know, putting all these um, experimental substances swimming all up in you, all right? Because ultimately we know it's leading up to the CHIP. That's what, what is in the agenda, all right? You're going to find out this man ain't changed He's still the devil and he still wants you in captivity and he wants you destroyed. All right. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And yeah, he's going to come smiling. Oh, well, no, that was in the past. That was in the past. Oh, a uh, horrible, uh, you know, past. But, we, you know, we are trying to make right the wrongs that has happened. All of those sweet talks and that's man. Don't believe none of that. All right. You got to criticize this man. <laughs> You know, you got to shame the devil, man. You know, shameful spewing. You got to, no, this man is evil. He's wicked. All the things that he's done, man. That rap sheet is, 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 is notorious. Nobody's created such pain and suffering and hurt, you know, in, in the world, man, like these like these devils, man. All right? Upon animals, cruelty of the animals, cruelty of the, of the earth, the planet itself, the people, all these nations. Man, these devils ain't getting away. The Lord's got their number. Okay, so it says, Thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Right? You're going to see that this man has not changed, not even one bit. His methods have switched up. Right? His trickery is, is leveled up. <laughs> he's getting more wicked. He just, he's high. He's getting, man, he ain't changed one bit. Right? But the Lord's coming to take him out, though. Right? Because he's the problem in the earth, man. He is the problem. This devil's got to go, all right? For this kingdom to fall, all right, the Lord's got to bring him down so the kingdom of heaven can be on the earth. And that's going to be when righteousness and peace is going to be established. All right? So I was going to get 
uh, I'll close on that scripture. Let me get one more precept. Seeing as I said that, this is Proverbs twenty nine. In verse 2, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So when people ain't rejoicing right now, all over the world, you see people protesting, living crisis, uh, inflation and, and um, you know, pollution, uh, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of uh, problems, man, happening with children. Right. People are people are, are had enough of this devil, man. All right. But it says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. That's why you're seeing all the more. That's why you're seeing people always having a problem and there's always something going wrong because you got the wicked that are ruling, right? And the kingdom to come is not going to be that way, right? Now, these nations, they're going to have to pay for their oppression on, on us, right? A thousand years of, of that, that punishment. But after that, things are going to go back, you know, to, to just, you know, real, real peace, man. After this devil is taken out the way, man, because he's the main problem, right? And these nations, they're gonna get their get backs on Esau too, man, right? But first, the Lord's got his got his number. This is Revelations eleven and eighteen, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, right? Which the prophets you have at these end days, right? Prophesying the return of our Lord and the downfall of the wicked, of these Edomites, okay? There's going to be rewards for them, right? Salvation is coming to the Lord's elect, all right? Because judgment is also coming. We're in a time of great judgment happening, man. And, and that judgment is going to be visited upon these Edomites, heavy, okay? The scripture says that uh, uh, he's got a sacrifice in, in uh, Bozra, uh, roughly quoting, right? Which, you know, these Edomites, starting with America, <laughs> that the Lord's coming to bring a heavy, heavy judgment upon them, man. All right, now it says, and to the saints, and America being Babylon, the great, right? That's how you know it's going down in, in, in the great destruction, right? Nuclear missiles, World War Three, lasers from the chariots. The Lord is coming to do a great judgment upon these Edomites, man, right? It says, and the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, which are the Israelites, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Who is single-handedly <laughs> destroyed the earth, you know, by himself, man? It's these Edomites, man. All right? You know, they're, they're the, the, the master of disaster, man. The great champions of destruction in this world, man. So the Lord is coming to destroy them. Right? And that's really it, man. That's all I had on this. So, uh, Lord willing, was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Waharik, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. All right, Esau is the problem, man, and the Lord is coming to take him out. So with that, I'll end it into the to the hopeful elect. I'll say shalom.